Shall we begin? Ha! Yeah. Son Campbell in the building. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Cause if I don't tell you nothing, I want nothing. There's something that won't stay something that won't. Yeah. Uh, get your snap by rock. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get your snap by rock. Uh-huh. Yeah. Get your snap by rock. Uh-huh. Yeah. Get your snap by rock. Uh-huh. Yeah. I turn your TV off. Yeah. Uh-huh, I turn your TV off, yeah, uh-huh, I turn your TV off, yeah, uh-huh, I turn your TV off, yeah, uh-huh, I get your closed curtain, oh, yeah, I get your closed curtain, yeah, uh, I close your curtain close, uh, yeah, close curtain close, yeah, uh-huh, get your snap by rock, uh-huh, yeah, get your snap by rock, uh-huh, yeah, I get your snap by rock, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh, yeah, I mean mug in the camera, yeah, I mean mug in the camera, uh, Birdman rub, uh, uh, yeah, a Birdman rub, uh, uh, yeah, get your snap by rock, yeah, uh, get your snap by rock, uh, yeah, get your snap by rock, uh-huh, yeah, get your snap by rock, uh-huh, yeah. Shall we begin? Look, man. Pay attention to their circle before they hurt you. Have you ever seen a wolf cry in the rain while getting his tail dragged from a trucker? A son. Oh, it's good to be back watching your videos now. You know, I I took a little break. I took a little break from you because I thought you took a little break as well. But you're back to your shenanigans. You're back to your you're back to the Hassan Campbell that we know and love. The buffoon Hassan Campbell. Now, like I said, I haven't been watching your videos, but now that you back sneak dissing, I'm back on your head, boy. And you just recently just made a video apologizing to Fat Joe. Because it seemed like Fat Joe was about to rock your snot bop. About to turn your TV off. About to put your oodles and noodles on the curve. About to flatten your tire. About to rotate your tires. Take out the trash. Fold the blinds. Empty out the garbage can. Drain a towel. Blink your nose. Dry your ass. I'm, I'm. But Hassan Campbell, seems like you got that phone call. Seems like you have been pressed by the Terror Squad member himself. Mr. Fat Joe. Now, um, just to give y'all a little, you know, rundown history of Hassan Campbell and Fat Joe. I mean, you can just literally just go to his channel. You can literally just go to his channel and type in Fat Joe. Let me see. Fat Joe. Oops, I can't spell. Hassan Campbell has made a lot of videos talking crazy i'm talking about hot sauce kanye pepper hot tamale just spicy extra spicy garlic spicy uh caribbean spicy african spicy white spicy white spicy i don't think that's a thing but he's been talking extra greasy i mean you can just look just 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 scroll down you can see all the videos that he's been attacking joe fat joe I'm talking about, look at this. Hassan Campbell is a, is a, a fat, sloppy pic. No, well that's, well, that's just you. But Hassan Campbell has made several videos about Fat Joe and talking real crazy, real greasy, just giving out information that is inaccurate. And one thing we know Hassan Campbell loves to do, he loves to run with the lit a bit of information like Hassan Campbell 
references is is a shade room, right? It's like it seems like Hassan Campbell gets information from the shade room and he just runs with it. He jumps out the window head first while the car is moving 100 miles per hour. And this is not the first time that a rapper has checked Fat Joe. I mean, checked Hassan Campbell. This is not the first time a rapper has checked Hassan Campbell. Y'all yeah, remember um, SP the Ghost? Styles P? Styles P actually had to check Hassan Campbell as well. Cause Styles P had a lot to say about, you know, Jim Jones and all that good stuff. So st there's been a, a, a handful of rappers that actually responded to Fat Joe and pretty and pretty much gave uh pretty much gave Hassan Campbell that that call. Like, yo, bro, you better chill out before the terror squad gets the Terran on your squad. So, Mr. Hassan Campbell makes a video a couple of days ago and he apologizes. He apologizes for running off his mouth, talking greasy, talking about stuff that he has no idea what he's talking about. See, that's the problem with you, Hassan Campbell. You run your mouth and you don't even know the full details, but you do it because it's YouTube. You do it because people want to hear that shocking information. But as a grown man, Hassan Campbell, you're supposed to learn from your mistakes. You're supposed to learn that you might want to do your research. Cross your T's and dot your I's before you get on a public platform as such as yours. And say some very egregious things that can get people in trouble. Like you say a, a lot of information. You, you give out a lot of dirt on people. You put a dirt. You put a lot of dirt on people's name. Acting like you know what's going on behind the scenes. But just like how Styles P checked you. Uh, the same as all the other rappers that checked you. Fat Joe people gave you that call and told you to chill out. So you made an, a public apology. Because it seemed like them boys was about to run down on you. You know, there's a lot of uh, stories out there about Fat Joe and his squad. His squad is called Terror Squad. They're called Terror Squad for a reason. They're not, you know, it's... Yeah, it's the reason why they call terror squad. They they terrify people. So I'm sure you know all about that, Mr. Bronx River, Poppy. I'm sure you heard about the stories of Fat Joe and what he allegedly, you know, has done. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. So you should be full aware of what he, what I wouldn't say him, what his associates or capable of doing but you have apologized once again for jumping out the window for giving out false information for uh, for for putting dirt on people's name and like the Hassan Kemba that I know he's gonna apologize but yet he will do this again because this is not his first time being forced to apologize oh trust me this was forced <laughs> you could tell in his body language that that phone call was very convincing. I'm sure that phone call, that conversation that he had was a very persuasive conversation too. You might just want to fall back, bruh. You don't want to get your TV turned off. Your snot bot rock. Chill out, bruh. 
Stop talking greasy on the internet. I'm sure it went something like that. Or, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just speaking hypothetically. But the way that you came out and you apologize definitely sounds like that call was very convincing. So hopefully, Hassan Campbell, you can learn from this. But knowing you, you're not. And you're going to get have to check and, and you're going to have to get checked again. But there are so many times that these rappers are going to check you verbally. You know, I think these people are sparing you by checking you verbally. But one of these days, these rappers, these people that you attack, it's not going to check you verbally. And at the end of the day, it's not going to be worth it. So hopefully you can learn your lesson this time and stop talking like you know everything, like you know what happens behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, you can continue with your message. There's a difference between trying to spread a message than attacking people. Then when you attack people, you want to get on live stream and you want to cry, then you want to ask for sympathy. Not how it works, bro. When you're older, you're supposed to know better and you're supposed to do better. So you are at that age, Hassan Campbell, where there's no excuse for your behavior. And hopefully you learn. But knowing you, you're not going to learn. I wish you safe. I wish you peace. And uh, I missed you, man. I haven't talked about you in a while, but now I'm going to start watching your videos again. Because it seems like you ruffled a lot of feathers since I've been gone and not watching your videos. But now you're back on my radar. <sighs> Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. Got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Make sure if y'all new to the live, make sure if this is y'all first time watching your boy, y'all hit that subscribe button, y'all hit that like button. Hey, man. Hit that like button, man. Hit that like button, man. Because you know they playing with my numbers, man. You know they don't want this message to be getting out because when they get out, the crowd sprout. You know they playing with my numbers, man. They don't want this word to be heard. Because when you fly as a bird, you learn like a nerd. Hit that like button and subscribe.